On the subject of ingenuity, few people can rival the scientists of today, so now let's visit the Medical Research Council for a look at some of the equipment used in this year's Antarctic expedition. Specially insulated copper wire underclothing, even including socks and gloves, has the dual purpose of warming the wearer by electricity running through and of enabling the surface temperature at different parts of the body to be measured. Demonstrated here by Dr. Pugh, physiologist to the Everest expedition, who will be testing it on himself as well. Nothing is left to chance, and these human guinea pigs experiment in conditions as close to the real thing as they can get. Most of their research, for example, is done in a special climatic chamber at temperatures of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside, they make use of certain equipment that has already undergone the most stringent tests, like this four-man tent from the Everest expedition. This large tent is quite portable, folding up rather like an umbrella, and among the contents is an inflatable mattress so that the body need not come in contact with the snow. The other physiologist in the Antarctic party, Major Adams of the Royal Army Medical Corps, wears a face mask that enables energy expenditure to be measured. Called an IMP, full name Integrating Motor Pneumotachograph, it can be worn for long periods of time, for instance while sledging, an action that is simulated here by a treadmill apparatus. To recapture different conditions, the apparatus can be tilted to a slope of one in five and the speed varied from two to nine miles an hour. All the time, through the mask, the major's oxygen consumption is being measured, from which knowledge can be ascertained the amount of heat being used up. On occasions, Major Adams has lived in these Arctic conditions for as long as 30 hours, during which time he was self-supporting and under constant observation by colleagues studying such factors as skin temperatures and normal reactions in the circumstances. For the first time, they are using liquid propane as a fuel for cooking and melting snow from which they get all their water. Food is dehydrated and heavily concentrated, for each man has to have twice as many calories as the average man. A tough assignment, but one that has been made a lot easier by the work of these scientists.